the um, um, mankind. They were no longer able to be masakim what they could have been masakim beforehand. After that, after the Deir Flogger, the world was mechulak into 70 umes. Kolachas mehem b'madrege yedua. Each one in a fixed spiritual uh, position. Aval kulom b'pchinas ho'enoishis b'shiflusai. They were all on a pathway which was, there was no return. There was no way anymore of returning to the situation of Adam Rishon Kedem Achet. So they were all in the situation of shiflus abriya. Okay, the Israel, there was one chosen people. That means until that point of time, until Doria Flog, until Avroim Avinu, they were, everyone was the same. Everyone was the same spiritual situation. And each person, each and every person, all the Umar Sayyidim could make a change in the Bria, in the Ruchnias. The watershed, the change happened at the Doria Flog. After Doria Flog, Nistam Shah means they were no longer giants that could change the whole Bria. They were now literally small people who could only do, have a little effect. Even though mankind looked the same before and afterwards, which is, this is really the most important uh, um, this is the most important line and what the, what, this is the, where the Derech Hashem is coming to. Never look at the exterior. Never look. We might all look the same, but we're not. Mankind before Derech Flog and after Derech Flog looked exactly the same, but they were completely different. Until then, the giants were there. We are still there today. We are no longer have the ability to make major changes. We're no longer Roshim. We're only Anofim. Even though at the time of Aroma Vino, they were, they, there was, there was the, the, the change between Umas Eilam and Avram. Sorry. This is a fantastic thing. That means, um, before and after Dura Flogger, there was a total change. After Dura Flogger, there was still there was Avram, who was still a Rosh, and there was all the other Umay Soilam who weren't Roshim. They were mamish. Let's call them little people. And that was the 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 difference between them is Mahuti. It's not just something which is. It, it, they might as well look different. They might as well be two different forms of human beings. And nevertheless, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the ability to the Umay Seilam to, to join at a later stage onto the Anofim of Avram Avinu. Do you understand now? It, it, we look at it that um, conversion is just be makabal in mitzvahs. You makabal in mitzvahs, and that's the end of the. I'm not saying it's an easy process, but we look at it as a just be. You know, they're like me. There's no difference between me and them. All the difference is I've got a chiv to do mitzvahs, and they don't. They're makabal in mitzvahs. They become like me. <laughs> According to this, that they're not like me at all. There's Israel. And there's Umar Sa'ilam. Umar Sa'ilam are, are a different form of human being. They are from a different Sherish. We are from the Sherish of Avor Mavino. It's like, it's like is there, there's no way that somebody could convert and become Arabian. You can't convert and change to become part of my family. 
My family is a genet it's a genetic thing, correct? So it's the same thing. Umo Iso Ilom and Avram Avinu might as well be genetically, they might as well have a different DNA. The helix of the, DF, of, the, of the DNA is different to the Goyim and to the Israel. We are shaykh to different mishpocha. The, the Kuzari calls it the, the mishpocha eloki. There's a mishpocha eloki. Now here comes the Chiddush. Geirus means you have an ability to become part of my family. Listen to where he writes it. He says, They are oiker themselves from their shayrish. Which is an enormous chiddush of geiris. That means when Avram Avinu became, when he's called Avraham and Av, what does that mean? You know, it means it means like this. Anyone has the ability to connect to your family. Your family, your fatherhood is something which anyone can connect to. They can become an enough of your shares. That is what it means, Av Hamaynamim. Av Hamaynamim, the Chidush of Avram was not just that he was, we always look at it as like he was, the founding father. The Ava Moinami means he was the founding father of Amisrael. That's not what it means. Says that Amchalim means something completely different. He is their father who anyone can connect to. It's like he's the father which anyone can, even on a later stage, connect to his fatherhood and be shy to that Mishpocha. There's a Mishpocha of Avram. He's a Rosh of an Ilon. And that's a genetic thing. And the Chiddush is that anyone can connect through Geirus to the Avos, to the fatherhood of Avram Avinu. That means that anyone can be shy to your family. If a guy doesn't do this, his teva is, his DNA dictates that he should be shared to the Uma of Esau. The Uma of Esau. So if he doesn't change it and connect to Avram Avinu, he'll remain there. The Shivim Umois. The Shivim Umois is not just Shivim Umois where they live. We look at Umois, we in, a, in the modern world, so we look at an Am, that the Shivim, that an Am means is dictated by where he lives. You have a Brit, the Brit comes from Britain. You have an American, he comes from America. The Am, the term, it's from the place where there were mitka bets beachat, the place where they come together. Shivim umois, according to in the in the Kabbalistic literature, does not. It's nothing got to do with the place. It's shivim umois means the shivim different. Let's call it families. That means the genetically, literally, I'm too much in the spiritual the spirituality of it. And if we could see the spiritual genes of these Shivim Umois, they are different. Each one has a Sa, and each one's different. That's the Shivim Umois. It's not determined by where they live. The Shivim Umois was before the were, it was, was created at, at Bovo. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Each and every Elon, each and every Shayush, which means the Shivim Umois, Now, it's, it's, um, it's Schus Ovois we have. Schus Ovois is, uh, we, we, we have to get around something. It's not just a father and a child. It's not an earlier generation, a later generation. The Elon and the Sherish is not determined just by who lived earlier and who lived later. 
Roish means there's a Roish. And the Roish means, in a, a given example, Aesov. Aesov, his actions determined the spiritual identity of all his children. Moyov, Moyov, Edom, and these, all these Umois, Amolek, the actions of the Roish determined the spiritual reality in which the children live in. A Roish is not just older. The Roish is the Shairish of the Umois. And so it continues. There's always in every generation a Roish von Anofim. And the Roish determines in a very, in, uh, to a large degree, the spiritual identity of the Anofim. V'omnom. We know that Klal Yisrael, if we're talking about the Neshomis of Klal Yisrael, the Neshomis of Klal Yisrael are always called Shishim Ribu. Shishim Ribu. Shishim Ribu is the Klal of the Neshomis of Klal Yisrael. Shishim Ribu. Those are the the Neshomis, the Anofim, the, the Anofim of Avram Avinu. Again, today also Besheirish with Shishim Ribui. Shishim Ribui is the Mispa of the Klal, the Klal of, of the Klal of 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 of, of Klal Those were the numbers who went into Mitzrayim. Those were the numbers who went into into Eretz Yisrael. Anyone who came out of these Shishim Ribu, that means, again, these Shishim Ribu would like, we'd call them the core of Klal Yisrael. They were the essence of Klal Yisrael. They were the beginning of Klal Yisrael, and those were the Neshomis of Klal Yisrael, which were Kaveya, the Dinim. We cry today. The Pchir on Tisha B'Av, which they cried then, because they were the Roshim, and we are the Anofim. And therefore we suffer the spiritual reality which they created. Okay? When it came to the Matan Torah, that was the moment in which the tree, the Anaf, the tree, the bark of the tree and the Anofim came to its fruition. Vulom, Chesed Godol Osa Kodesh Bochim Kol Umeis. Even though Hakodesh Bochu when Avram Avinu was born, Hakodesh Bochu created, uh, um, chose Avram Avinu, and he made him into an elite. He put him into a position of being something different. He was in a spiritual realm of much higher than all the others. But even so, says the Ramcha. Chesed HaKadosh Baruch did with, with the Umay Sa'ilom. Shetola dinom oit adman matan teira. He wasn't kovea the matzef. He didn't finalize the position of the goyim until zman matan teira. That means there are certain moments in the history of the world where HaKadosh Baruch says these are moments which you can still change. You can change. That means even though we know that there was until the time of the the time of the of 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 uh, the of the flogger, everyone was in the same situation. Came the time of Aflogger, everyone fell. Avram Avinu was born, he was chosen, and his family was chosen. And all the Musailam won far lower Madrega. Nevertheless, there's moments in the history of the world where things can change. And that was Mamatatayra. Kodesh Bogu said, you still have the opportunity. Goyim, to bring yourself to the situation of Avram Avinu. You can bring yourself to be in the same as the Amman Nifchal. And that was when HaKadosh Baruch Hu went and he offered the Torah to the Goyim. That's what he says. That's what he says. If the Goyim, if the, if Anshe Edoim, would have accepted the Torah, they would have had the ability to 
elevate themselves and put themselves onto the onto the same position as Klal Yisrael. It was like the point of no return. If you didn't take this opportunity, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you ain't got no chance anymore. The door was closed, never to be reopened again. But nevertheless, there's one, that means as a people, as a people, Edoim, Moyov, None of these nations, the Shivim Umais, will ever achieve, come back, come to the Madrig of Klezo, but on an individual level. An individual for many of the Umais, she is Gamma Batsma, she is Gai Batsma, we call it, but he also, Tachasilon Shalavrovino, that he can do. Vulum. So now let's get this straight. God didn't create the world in order that people should make money and have horses and have a good time. That was not why God made the world. God created the world in order that the Nivraim, those who are created, should be able to achieve a madrega that Laosid Lovadi should be able to be Zeicha to the Schava Kodesh Bochu, Lidovik Ba Kodesh Bochu. That's why he created the world, that we should be able to have Avoida, and we should be able to achieve, achieve Shlemus to be able to be Zeicha, to be Dovik and a Kodesh Bochu. That was the purpose of it all. And for that, he created this whole world with everything. So now the Goyim have no opportunity. That means then they are on a spiritual level so far lower than Kalal Yisrael, they don't even have the ability to reach up high and to be mashlim themselves, to be zoicha, to be dovukana kodesh bochu. They had the ability when they were created. That means, until the Deir Afloga, the kodesh bochu created the whole world, that everyone should be zoicha. There was no longer, there was no difference between Yisrael and Umar Zoilom. That only happened by Deir Afloga. But after Deir Afloga, What's the purpose of the Goyim? God created the world in order for the person to achieve Shlemus. The Goyim can't get it. So what's the purpose of those Goyim? Says the Ramchal, You might have thought, HaKadosh Baruch says, okay, you no longer have the opportunity. You no longer have the capability to become Sholem, to be Zeichet to the Vekas Nakhon Jabachu, so I don't need you anymore, finish him, wipe him out. There's no longer Tachlis. That means after the day of Loga, Kodesh Bochus has said, right, we'll wipe you out. But that's not what Kodesh Bochus did. Hoysog Zeira, she showed up a Madrega Shvorosh Zachanu, that they should remain in this low Madrega, Vuhumin and Noishus. This form of humanity, which is called a non-Jew, shouldn't have been allowed. There was no place for it before the Chet of, of Odomarishan, because the world was only created for somebody to be able to achieve Shlemus. So a person on that level who can't achieve Shlemus, there was no... There was no purpose for their creation. So uh, in, in, in the pre-Chet world, pre-Chet of Odomarishan, there was no place, Bichlal, for this form of humanity. But when Odomarishan made the Chet and he created a lower madrega of humanity, so he, en he enabled the ability for such a human being to exist. Since they are, have, they, they might, I mean, let's put it this way. Between you and me, they could be spiritually, they would be like an animal. But since they have a pchino of a noishis, they have a form of humanity. I mean, this should be censored. I mean, if any goy would read this, it, 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 it's, I mean, but you hear what you're saying? God really, really, there was no purpose for the Goy to be exist anymore. But since they have a form of humanity, listen to his language. 
כיוון שיש בהם בחינו אנושיס, they have a form of humanity. אף על פי שישבו, even though the spiritual DNA is practically useless, רוצה הקודש ברוך הוא, שיהיה להם מעין מה שראו לנושיס אמיתוס. הקודש ברוך הוא wanted that they should also have some small, teeny little form of existence, which is in a teeny, 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 5% some semblance to the existence of Yisrael. After Pishem be Madregas, after Pishem be Madregas or Madregas, Nishmas Yisrael, don't ever, ever think for one minute that the Goy has an Ashoma like a Yisrael. He doesn't have it. He has a completely different DNA. Completely different spiritual DNA. The neshama of the goy is far lower than the neshama of the Israel. But since they have something, they will have mitzvahs. And they will be kind of for themselves some form, teeny little, teeny form of shleimus. גם כן כפי מה שראו לבחינוסון, והן המצווה זה בני נויח. That means you have to understand, if they wouldn't have any מצווה, if there would be no מצווה of שבע מצווה זה בני נויח, there'd be no purpose for them to exist. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Man exists only to be משלים himself. If they wouldn't have any form of hashloma, if there'd be no form of being attacked themselves, there's no purpose for their existence. It's fascinating because we think that the reason why the Gemara says that, um, that uh, Losid Lovoy, Losid Lovoy, the Goyim, yeah? Losid Lovoy, the Goyim, um, uh, will say we built the bridges for you. So you think, why are the goyim here? The goyim here to build ridges. No, that's not why they're here. No, it's just not true. If they wouldn't have mitzvahs, they would not exist. They could not exist. They were built, humanity was created in order to be zeichet to a shleimus. So the, after the Yerafloga, they couldn't do it anymore. But there had to be some sort of shleimus. Otherwise, Kodesh Bochu would have destroyed them. So he gave them the Sheva Mitzvahs B'nai Noach. And today, those mitzvahs are the, not only the purpose of their existence, they are the source of their existence. Without those mitzvahs, they would not have any reason to exist at all. V'hinei mitchila sabriya, nizmanu kol advarim liyoysom kach im yechto ayadom. Don't think, says Ramchal, never think that God didn't think of this outcome. Or well, this outcome only happened when the story of the Deirah Vloga happened. Says the Ramchal, there's no such thing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu prepared in the beginning of the creation all the different options that could be. That means if Adam wanted to, wanted to decide to be choyter, and if the Deirah Vloga decided to do the, to do the veil of the Deirah Vloga, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu already prepared It was Mazum and Miroish that was already prepared the option for man to, to literally create such a form of humanity. All Hezekim, anything which man destroys with his own actions, was pre, not predetermined, he's not talking about that, but the option was already put into the Bria, Mitchilas Briosoi, that if man would do the X, Y, Z, that would be the Tetzah, V'ulom. Lo ilom habo, lo asid lovoi, lo timtzoeno umois zulois Yisrael. There will no, not exist any of the Shivim umois, only Yisrael. Ule nefesh, Chassidei ha'umois, now we're talking about on an individual level. That means goyim, goyim, the am of edoim, the am of moyov, the, gra, the, the, 
humanity as we see it today, non-Jews and Jews will not exist. There will not be an Umo called Goim. Why? It's, it's Poshet. Because the whole purpose of everything was only Lossid Lovey to be Dovik and Akodesh Bochum. Lossid Lovey, the only form of existence which can exist, Lossid Lovey, is that which has the ability to be Dovik and Akodesh Bochum. That which can be Nene Mizib Shkinosoy will have the ability to exist at the time of Lossid Lovey. He who cannot be Nene Mizib Shkinosoy cannot exist. So Goyim, the non-Jews, as an Umo, cannot exist. Aval. Ule nefesh chasidei Umo Yisraelom. To those righteous ones of chasidei of Umo Yisraelom, ye not in mitzvahs. There will be a form of existence. Bepchino noisefes v'nispachas al Yisrael atzmam. That means they themselves, they themselves don't have the ability to be Dovuk and HaKadosh Baruch They don't have the Neshoma to be able to be Dovuk and HaKadosh Baruch They don't have the Chelek Eloikai Mimal to be Dovuk and HaKadosh Baruch But, here's the Chiddush, they can be Nigrorim, they can be Tofel, they can be a Nochshlepe in Yiddish, as I say. They can be joined, they can be hang on to the tail of, of Yisrael. In the same way that a man clothes himself in begodim, and the begodim are tofel to the odom, so the the the, the tzadike umos oilam will be tfeilim leisrael. Ubebchina zu yagia lehem mashi yagia min atoyv veein bechukam sheasigu yosem zekla. They don't have the ability in themselves to be near them as if shkinosoy. But they will somehow, it's like, you know what it is? It's like they can't sit under the sun. They can't go out. They're albinos. They cannot sit under the sun. They, have, they don't have the ability to be nene mizif shkinosoy. But some of the heat of the rays which come onto the Israel, the tzadik ayumas oilom will get the warmth of the rays which go on to the body of the Israel, onto them. They will only be nitpal to the ziv, to the, to the scha of the Israel. Vine, b'shor shenech lako ilom kach, som ha-kodesh baruch hu shivim p'kidim misuga malochi. Now, so we've come to a fascinating conclusion here. We might all look the same, but we are definitely not the same. To quote the stipler, when they came in to tell him, the doctors said, said you have to stop smoking because it's dangerous, shouted the stipler, Vos goy of a Yiddish goof. That means you've proven on goyim that smoking hurt, damages. I'm not a goy. We look the same, but we ain't the same. We're not the same. We look the same as our forefathers who, who lived before the Deirah Flogga, but we ain't the same. They were Roshim and we're Anofim. In the same way, the Goyim and us, we are, it's as if our gen, we're genetically changed. We are different. How do they call it today? They call it um, uh, mutants. That's it. Literally, literally. We, our, genetic, our genetic makeup is different. They, the Shivim Umais, are not just living in another place. They are different from us. Now, now we're talking about a Yisrael and a, and a Goy, we're talking about two different human beings, says the Ramcha. In that moment of time, which was the moment of Deira Floga, which when HaKadosh Baruch Hu changed the world, and, if, and made Klal Yisrael and Shivim Umois, Soma Kodesh Bochu Shivim Pkidim Misuga Malochi. Akodesh Bochu said, Not only are you no longer one and the same as Klal Yisrael, and Klal Yisrael are higher, but it's much more than that. I want nothing to do with you lot. That means 
Klal Yisrael is under my hashkocha. I have a personal interest in Klal Yisrael. I'm personally collected to the Ummah of Klal Yisrael, and I mashkiach alehem. I personally am mashkiach on them. The Ummah Yisraelom, they have shivim sorim. Says the, says the Ramchal, Soma Kodesh Baruch Hu shivim pkidim. Misuga Malochi. He put 70 officers called Malochim, Shuheim Hamunim al Uma Isaila. Each arm has its own sa, Umashkifim Alem, and he left these Sorim. You take charge of these guys. I want no connection anymore with these guys. Umashkifim Alin Yenem. Obviously, Akajbohu, if they do some Rokajbohu, say you can't do that. But I want no personal connection to them. HaKodesh Bochu will only be mashkiach bashkoch klolis on them. That means, in the same way that this HaKodesh Bochu is mashkiach on the animals. He da, according to the Ramchal, what do you mean the mashkiach on the animals? He doesn't, mashkiach on animals, I want to make sure that the min of animals carry on. But Kodesh Bochu, it's not important for Kodesh Bochu, any individual animal. The individual animal is no Ashkoch of Kodesh Bochu individually on them. He'll do it, be clueless on everyone. So also the Umar Soilom, he'll look after them, but that means anything which is necessary to make sure that the Americans don't go bankrupt, he will do. That means even though Trump's making a hell of a bad job of it, and even other places, Mamash going bankrupt, and by the way, Boris is not doing that much better, but HaKadosh Bochu will be Mashkiach, by Fenkloli. That means I'll make sure that England carries on, and I'll make sure that America carries on. But I want nothing to do with the individual Goyim living in the country. Nothing to do with them. There's a Sa, which is Memuna on the Shivim Umes. Beautiful Pshat in the Posuk. Yodati means is the Kesher. Yodati means, means the connection. Rak eschem yodati. My connection is only with you, Klaisal. Mikoyel Mishpachis Adoma. Vaomnom. Don't think that Kodesh Bochu doesn't know what's going on with that, Jew, with that Goy living on Regions Park. Don't think he doesn't know. He knows what's going on, but he says, I am not going to have an individual. I'm not going to, he's not going to have my personal touch. I know what's going on, but the Sam Amun Alem will deal with it. I'm not having it. But Dovazet Tevineu, the Mashinavo Oid Besiat Jemaya. That means we're talking about they are spiritually a different genetic makeup. And what comes out from that is, even though we look the same, the Ashkoch is completely there. The Sa, we don't. They have a medium. Between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and them, there's a medium. And that medium, the Malach, he has to deal with them on an individual basis. There's no such thing by us. V'ulam b'maseim shel Yisrael, tolo odin baruch hu tikun kol abriya. HaKadosh Baruch Hu put into the hands of Klal Yisrael the control of the whole Bria. They are, Klal Yisrael are spiritual beings. We are made up of, a, genetically, of a neshama, which is a neshama of chelik elikayim imal. And we have, because of that, an ability to literally change the world. We are shutfim with HaKadosh Baruch Hu in what? In B'mesak in the world. Tol HaKadosh Baruch Hu tikun kol abri v'yulachai hakom yitzachanu v'shibit kaviyochel es kol hanagosi l'pol am HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, I will act according to your actions. You are in the driving. You're driving. You're steering. You're in the, you're in the, how do you call it? In, in the, uh, in the drive, you're in the, you're, you're the driver. But I, and whatever you do, I will, I will go with you. 
לא היו להשפיע, אוי לסוס היו לעזרה להם חס ושלום על פי מעשיהם. אך מייסא האומייס, the actions of the אומייס האלום, לא יוסיפו ולא יגלו במציאות הבריאה בגיל ליסבורג. They have no ability whatsoever to affect in any way anything in the world. לא יגלו במציאות הבריאה בגיל ליסבורג, שמו אוי בהסדרו. אבל להמשיך על עצמם, they can. Rectify themselves. That means the Sheva Mitzvah Bnei Merch means you can, in a small way, correct your broken body. You, are, you can be massacring yourself, but your actions are so lowly that they have no repercussions to anything in the Bria. In Beguf, in Benefesh, V'yosifu Kerch B'Sa'a Shalehem O'Yachdishu. They can affect their Sa'a. V'homnam. אף על פי שאין הקודש ברוך הוא משגיח על אומי ישראל בפרטיהם, כבר אפשר שישגיח עליהם בהם לצורך יוכית או רבי מישראל. That means sometimes הקודש ברוך הוא will take an individual interest in בוריס או in טראמפ, but not for them, because what they will do will have a ripple effect on כלל ישראל. So הקודש ברוך הוא will be משגיח on them. because of the ripple effect which they have in Klal Yisrael. כבר איפשהו שישגיח עליהם בהם לצורך יוכי דוי רבי מישראל. אמנם, זה בבחינת המקרים האמצועים שביאנו פרק הגיידם. That's not because of their position, it's because of their השפעה on everybody else. Now I just want to, really, this whole פרק, has come, has, has been here to explain to us that we, even though we look the same, we're different. And it really starts, in fact, the Dora Floga. Before Dora Floga, we were all the same, and after Dora Floga, we all changed. So um, Dora Floga plays an enormous part in our history for the Mukubolim. For the Mukubolim, it was literally a watershed. It was one of the moments of change which was in the history of humanity. One of the most important changes. Before then, we were all the same. And every, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the ability to every single person to change the world, like Odom Rishon could. We were still had the chance to go back and everyone could do it. We were all Roshim, we were all giants. By Dora Flog, it all changed. Everyone dropped the Madrega. And then Avram was chosen. He didn't come back to what it was before, but he was chosen to be, let's call it, the highest spiritual being. That, so the Dona Flogger plays an enormous part. Now, it's fascinating to see the difference between in the Pshat and the Psukim, the way the Mkubolim see it, and the way, let's call it, the Pashtonim see it. The Ran in the Drosha Saran, when he goes to the Psukim, he says, I'm going to, I'm, 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 it's not important, I won't, I won't, we won't see inside. The Drosha Saran, he says, Be'atem, they did no Avera. Okay, you know, it could well be, you know, Avodah Zorah was coming quite high up. Avodah Zorah was a popular, a popular Avera, which was going on that time. But, but during a flogger, they, they didn't, it wasn't, them, they weren't coming together to do an Avera. That's not what it was, says the Drosha Saran. Drushes, the Drosha Saran says it was the first time that there was a mega nation created. Says the Drosha Saran, what happened? Humanity got together and said, why are we working all in little, little groups here and there? Let's join together and become a mega nation. Let's join to become the, the 51 states of America. Why be 51 states? Let's become one. That's all it was. The Migdol, they, they went, they found this plain, which was an enormous plain. What was the purpose of the plain that they found? It was big enough that everyone could come together. Everyone could come together and live together. And what was the purpose of this Migdol? It was the first skyscraper. They were building gigantic places for everyone to live together. All that they were doing was one thing, joining together to become a mega nation. And this Migdol would be the palace. And that palace, they would live one king. 
And that one king would reign over everyone together. And when everyone comes together, our power is so much greater. Says the Drosh Saran, there was no Avera at that point of time. Nothing. But the Kodesh Baruch Hu said, to come together is dangerous like hell. Do you know why? Because listen, Avodah Zorah was rampant. Even though they weren't coming together to serve Avodah Zorah, but the moment you have a union of nations coming together, that could be catastrophic in the future because they could all join together also to serve Avodah Zorah. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu had to break the union and that was the Shivim, that was the Lashonis. The Lashonis were, the Shivim Lashonis were to break the union. There was no Avera whatsoever. That means, if you're asking me, it wasn't a very important moment. According to Drosh Hazaran, it wasn't. It might be Akkadj Bokhu was teaching us, hey guys, don't come together. When there's too much power, when 51 nations come together to become a united state, that's only a, it's only a, a recipe for catastrophe. So all that was happening at that point in time, according to the run, and the run says, Mafurish, there was no Avera, but there was the ability. The, it, 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 it set the scene for gigantic Averas afterwards. And therefore, Kodesh Baruch said, no way. That's the way the Drosh run looks at it. The Migdal was a palace. And the Migdal was a palace, and all this, all, the danger was a one man ruling on everything. That was it. Coming together to join as one is a tremendous thing for mitzvahs, and it's a fatal thing for Averis. That's what the Drosh Saran says. Drosh Saran. But when you look into the Makubalim, even the Sephonai, it's already, the Sephonai, others, they understood. The, and we've seen it now in the Ramchal, the Migdal was an Avera. The Migdal was an Avera. It, it's fascinating. The, 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 the Moshe Viali, who was Talmud Chova of the Ramchal, Talmud Chova, they were in the same base of Medrash. It's got about 20 Svarim. But in one of his Svarim, he writes, or Mishli, he writes, that this Migdal was, they wanted to create a Koya Hatuma which could reach up high. They realized that Kodesh Baruch created two different Rishuyas in this world. Kaviyochel, there's Ruchnias, and, and Luma there, Lumas the Ruchnias, the Stuma. They wanted to create the highest form of Tuma. And the symbol, the symbol, the symbol for this was the Migdal. The Migdal, which points up high, shows that from down, look, listen to this fantastic idea. He says, we always understand that Kodesh Bohu from up on high touches down here. The way we see is that Kodesh Bohu from up on high reaches down to touch here. They did it the other way around. We can make a Migdal which starts here and touches up on high there. That's Tumah. That means oh, there's an ability, the Koyach of Tumah and the Koyach of Tyra are the Koyach to be able to touch up on top and down here. The question is where it starts. Tumah starts from the bottom and it moves up. And by us, it starts at the top and comes to the bottom. The Migdol, the tower, was the simon of the Tumah, which they believed can reach up on high. Listen to what he says on Meshav Yali. He says, and the Notsrim Rachmon Elitzlon, they are rebuilding the Migdal. That's why in every place where you'll see a church, it's always done in the form of a Migdal. The Migdal is like this. Starts on bottom and reaches up on high. The base is, is large and reaches up on high. The Migdal, he says, of the Notsrim, the Migdal of the Nitzrim is rebuilding the Migdal, which was then. Carries on Rabbi Shivali and he says, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, since you, the, the world, have look, gone to Tumor, 
I want nothing to do with you anymore. They became Shivim Umais. The Shivim Umais was the punishment. What was the punishment? I want nothing to do with you anymore. You will be separated and you will each have an Umma for yourself. There's no longer one. One is only something which is Achto. Says the Meshaviyali. After that hate, there's only Goy Echod Boretz. There's only one family which can be considered Echod, which can touch onto the Kedush of HaKadosh Baruch That's Klal Yisrael. All the rest, there's no Achtos. The Achtos is broken and they can no longer reach up high. There's no Asoga of Ruchnias. That means the Migdol was the Avera. And the oinish of it was, there's no more achdus, there's no more ruchnis, you become kebehemus nidbu. That's what he says. That means, and according to him, that's what was the doira flogger. That means doira flogger, according to the, the Drosh's Haran, was no more than a conglomerate. And there was no more danger there than the United States. But a Kodjibok said, that's dangerous. Akun to the Mukubolim, it was the first time when Klau, when the when when the Goyim showed they were Pirak Oil of Akodish Bohu. And at that point of time, Akodish Bohu said, You've lost your ability to become one. And that oneness is the ability to connect with me. Goy Echod Bohonets can be Dovok in Akodish Bohu. The Shivim Umais, the period of the Umais, was them losing the ability to connect in any way to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When they're no longer one, when they are nifrodim, when they're separate, they can no longer connect. The Shivim, the separation of the Shivim Umais was the punishment. And from that moment on, there was only one Umo which could connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So Deirah Flogger, which you read, like that, it can be translated to two completely different things. It could be a an avail of a conglomerate, or it could be a watershed, a complete change in reality. And that was the moment when Umois Ha'ilam were created. And from that moment on, the Hashkoch of HaKadosh Baruch Hu was no longer on the Umois Ha'ilam. Only the Sorim were Mashkiach and HaKadosh Baruch Hu kept, just controlled them. Shkoyach, everybody, and uh, oh. first, well, okay, may I say the Shkoyach, a good night, a good summer, a good summer. A good summer, you miss Hashem. Good summer. See you, Mitzvah Shem, after. Mitzvah Shem. Mitzvah Shem, by then, the base of Migdash will be rebuilt. And so, therefore, there'll be Kobonus, and there'll be no problem with Corona. Bring a Kobon, your various are gone. Corona can't get you. Mitzvah Shem. Mitzvah Shem. Kol Tov, Kol Tov, Kol Tov. Kol Tov, 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 Kol T